Ready? I'll go first. Here comes the... Arr! Stinky Cross-Eyed Geezer! <laughs> oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. It's the Arr! Nasty Fish-Eyed Monkey! Oh. Ah! We're through the first round. Nice, but can you top this? It's the Arr! hooded, lazy-eyed meanie. Here comes trouble. He's got the Arr! bugged out, tweaking Gomer. Bye. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the High Prince of the Puss. Bravo. Now is the Ombudsman of unoriginality. Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, Short Stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? Holy buckets! It's the bug eye! Rarely seen, bros and bras. If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Whoa. Extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Oh. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. You, you yelly belly deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch. You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threepwood for the rest of your very short life! Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh huh? Fine, he wins. My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Nice. Ahoy there. Now what? All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Um, yes. I vote yes. I think he'll help raise... morale. <laughs> Doubtful. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews! <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Ah, fine. I vote no. Hey! You said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. I accept. 
Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the Cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. You're just giving it to me? Guard it with your life, brother. One cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Here you go, pal. Whoa! I think we're back on course. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come! How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would've thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... I would never! We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Expulsion? Oh, it's okay. I understand. Death. Kill him. hey -o. Morgan! Dahl! It's killing time! Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One! Get him! I could use a hand! Ha! He wants help from a girl! Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? It's go time, Morgan! I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? Uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. I was well, going to sew you a sash. Before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? Kill the betrayer! Huh. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. Thank you. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman-handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. 
got it. A few drops in the biggest vile pool I can find. Done and done. Quick, everyone on board! Hold on to your pantalones! Quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but... I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here! My treasure sits mere fathoms away! <gasps> and my ship! The Howler Monkey! I thought I'd never see you again! I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern of La Esponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, star crew member even had the temerity to expire! What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Yep, and I have freakish toe strength. Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? The sponge, and make it a snappy! stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Well, let's see here. 6,000 doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score! Leviathan country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. The ancient voodoo artifact preservation society welcomes you to La Esponja Grande. Please stay on the path. Finally, the home of La Esponja Grande. to mention the Guardian of Lies Point. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. The monster must be tamed, Chief Whistle. With what? A rolled up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex, confounding, beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? 
I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. Sort of put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super-absorbent prize! Sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Okay, got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee, and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our grasp! Look at that fish flop. Come here, you. I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Arr, arr. Hmm. Nothing. Tell me where I can find the tongue of the manatee, or it's time for Tibetan tickle torture. I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me! He's telling the truth. Dude, what? I didn't even have to do anything. Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me! Fine. I need information. I'll never break. Arr! Please, no, Sister Agnes. Noogie's sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please! He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. All right, you. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Not telling you, man. I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rock before you know anything. Solidarity, brother! Yeah, you can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him! Hey, Morgan. I know you're a cutthroat pirate hunter, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mast. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's length. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manatee into standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, Mo. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? 
just for a minute. Thanks. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... Ah, three ah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! I had it. Please, brah, don't hurt anyone else. Is this true? It's Jimba, the I-Core fun. That's the tongue of the manatee. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. <sighs> Can't believe he's gone. That ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. Of the Manatee, Travel Edition. Just a dab will do ya. Whoops. That was, um. Actually, I don't want to talk about it. I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. 